Hello students, welcome back to the channel. In the first video, we studied only a general introduction of the digestive system, which was including elementary canal and glands. Now here we are focusing on the elementary canal and in this today video, we will be studying about what are the things which are present in the buccal cavity, that is teeth and tongue. So see carefully, but the elementary canal starts with the anterior opening mouth and opens outside with the posterior that is anus. So anterior opening is mouth and posterior opening is anus. Mouth will lead into the buccal cavity also known as oral cavity. And what does oral cavity contain? Oral cavity contain teeth and tongue. So in this video, our focus will be only on these two topics, teeth and tongue. We'll be studying this only in detail properly. Is it clear? So oral cavity has number of teeth and they are having muscular tongue. So now let me show you about this diagram. See this diagram. This is a diagram of the teeth. So by this diagram, you can see the part which is embedded in the socket of the jaw bone. See, this is the bone, alveolar bone. In this, the part of the tooth are embedded. The part which is embedded, that is known as root. And the one which is surrounded by the gums, you can see here, which is surrounded by the gums. That part is known as neck and the part which is visible that is known as crown. Clear better? The part which is visible and this type of arrangement of the teeth in which the teeth are embedded in the socket of the jaw bone, this is known as thicodont condition. So thicodont condition is the condition in which teeth are embedded in the socket of the jaw bone. Clear better? Now just for your information, so that competitive level you can prepare it. See, first of all, focus the diagram and analyze it carefully. See, this one, this color, I'm using the green color. You try to focus it. This entire green color, okay, I'm converting into green color right now. This is your dentine. So teeth is made up of chemical that is known as dentine. Clear better? The teeth is made with the help of chemical. Which chemical? That is known as dentine. I'm doing it green color and entire dentine. Now in the center, you will find pulp cavity is also present. And the pulp cavity is actually containing blood vessels and nerves. Here also you have to do the green color to understand that this is entirely is dentine. Clear better? And this is your pulp cavity. The one which I'm now lining with the Red color, this is the pulp cavity. So pulp cavity is the one which contains blood vessels and nerves. And if you see carefully, analyze the diagram very carefully, you are finding one aperture is present at the, for the entrance of the blood vessels and nerve, that aperture is known as apical foramen. Clear but apical foramen. And what is this? I focus it. This is the pulp cavity in which the blood vessels and nerves are entering. Now, one more thing, focus better, one more thing. If you see here, this is the periodontal ligament. Clear better, this is periodontal ligament, this one. This entire is periodontal ligament. So after the bone, ligament is coming. Clear, this is ligament. And in between the ligament and dentine, in between the ligament and dentine, you will find this is cementum. I'm using with the blue color, focus bitter. This is cementum. So if you have to do the sequencing, if they ask you the sequence, then first of all, first will be outside will be bone, then is ligamentum, and then is your cementum, then is the dentine coming, and inside is your pulp cavity. Clear bitter? This much is clear to you? Gums are the one which are surrounding the dentine only in the neck area. And after this, if you see in the crown area, the dentine is covered by the hard substance that is known as enamel. So enamel is the hard substance which is covering the exposed part of the teeth 
that is exposed part is known as dentine and the covering which is done that is known as enamel. So I think so this diagram is clear to you. Now let us see the NCRD better. So we see here teeth are embedded in the socket of jawbone and this arrangement is known as thecodont. Majority of the mammals, now question please, we will not say all mammals, okay? We will say majority of the mammals, not all. Here again question area. They'll confuse you by writing it all as a statement. So majority of mammals, including human beings, they have two set of teeth, two set. One is the milk teeth, also known as temporary teeth, also known as deciduous teeth. Then second teeth is the permanent, also known as adult teeth. So two sets of teeth are coming in the life. First will come milk teeth, temporary teeth, deciduous. Second set is adult teeth and permanent teeth. And this type of arrangement is known as diaphytont. Clear? An adult human has different types of teeth also. Different types of teeth, they can be incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. So if you see, adult is having total 32 teeth, which are of four different types. Incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. And four different types of teeth are there, we will say heterodont. It means we, will, we have to learn what is thecodont, what is diphyodont, and what is heterodont. Now, how to write the dental formula? To make the dental formula, we will use upper jaw and lower jaw. That also only half of the upper jaw, half of the lower jaw. Is it clear? So how the teeth are arranged, how, what's the number? We have to just represent it by formula. Incisors in the upper jaw, upper half is two in number. Canine is one. Premolar of the upper jaw, that also upper half is two and molar is three. Same when we find, it is same is fine in the lower jaw, lower one half only. Incisors two, canine one, premolar two, and molar three. So you can write the dental formula as two, one, two, three by two, one, two, three. So arrangement of teeth in each half, in half of the upper jaw and lower jaw is in this order. First is incisor, second is canine, third is premolar, and fourth is molar. Now, when you add this total, you will find upper jaw. If you see upper half, upper half will have eight. Okay, if you do the total, you will find this is total eight. Lower half is also total half is eight. This is only for the half jaw. When you will multiply with the second jaw, obviously it will become eight more. The total will be upper jaw total teeth are 16 in number, lower jaw is 16. 16 plus 16, you are saying 32 permanent teeth are present in the adult. This is the dental formula for adult. But please note down for the child, what is a dental formula? For child, dental formula is 2102 by 2102. It means in the children, premolars are not present. It means premolars will come only once in the life. The premolars are your monophyodont. Clear? Now for the 17-year-old child. If 17 year, then 2, 1, double 2 by 2, 1, double 2. Because the last molar teeth, that is wisdom teeth has not come. Wisdom teeth come after the age of the 18. So 17 year old, this is the dental formula. This is for the child, temporary, milk teeth, deciduous teeth. And this is the formula for the adult permanent teeth. Now hard chewing surface of the teeth is made up of enamel. And enamel is the one which is helping in mastication of the food. Clear? Now, let us see one more diagram of the NCRT. See, this is the diagram of NCRT. But uh, you can see incisors, number one and two, they have taken two incisors, you know, one canine, two premolars and three molars. Now, question is asked with respect to the root. How many roots are present? Now, see the root formula for different teeth. Upper jaw. Incisor, one root. Canine, one root. Premolars is having two roots and molars are having three root. Same for the lower jaw. Incisors, one root. Canine, one root. Premolar also one root and molar two root. Now see from why I'm teaching you because from this diagram question is asked. This is number six and number six means molar. And if you see in the diagram how many roots are there? One 
टू एंड थ्री क्लियर बेटा वन टू एंड थ्री आई जस्ट हाईलाइटेड विद दिस कलर ट्राई टू सी दिस इज दन विच दे है डायग्राम एंड इफ यू सी इन फॉर द प्री मोलर देर आर टू रूट आर सीन प्री मोलर टू रूट आर सीन सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस यू हैव टू लर्न दिस दैट इज वाई दिस फॉर्मुलाइज देयर प्लीज लर्न एंड फ्रॉम दिस नाउ यू इट इज क्लियर कि दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ योर अपर जॉ is it clear this is the diagram of your upper jaw and these are the sockets in which the teeth are embedded so these are the socket of the jaws in which the teeth are embedded and embedded in the form through root so this is the how many roots are there so molars are having three roots this much is clear so teeth topic is clear now let us move to the tongue see carefully the tongue is freely movable muscular organ which muscle skeletal muscle because we say tongue can be controlled so it means it's a skeletal muscle it is attached to the floor of the oral cavity with the help of frenulum please focus this is frenulum is the one which is attachment of your tongue to the floor you can check yourself also the tongue is attached to the floor by frenulum upper surface will have small projection known as papilla and some of the papilla please focus it's not all it is some which will be a taste bud some of the papilla will be a taste bud but not all papilla will be a the taste bud so i hope so in this video my main focus was to explain you up till here and highlighted all the questions which are coming this much topic might be clear to you okay next we'll be moving further only in the next video we'll be moving further thanks for watching up till here